I built a web app called Notify Me with Nux3. It allows you to send message to yourself. Messages can be sent to email, Telegram, or even Notion database with a simple web request. Messages can be sent using a browser or REST API, so that you can use it in any programming language. For example, you can send yourself a message using the web UI, enter a URL in browser's address bar and press enter, send a get request with any programming language, or even with curl command in the terminal. We might find this web app useless. Why would someone send message to themselves? I will share a few use cases of mine to convince you. In this video, I will start by talking about some useful use cases of this app and go through the deployment process of this app. If you find it useful, you can deploy your own notification server. It's actually super simple. The reason I built this app is simple, sending notification message to myself in some automation or letting others send message to me. The first use case is sending a notification to myself after a long running job, such as training a machine learning model, Training a model takes hours, and I want to get notified once it's finished, rather than checking the progress frequently. I just need to append the curl command in the end with a notification method and the message. Then once the jobs are finished, I will get notified right away. The second use case is contact form. I built an application called CrossCopy, and it has a documentation website. It's a static documentation site, so there is no backend or database for storing data. If I need to embed a contact form on the page to let user leave a message or subscribe to updates, I will most likely need to use a third-party service, which could cost some money. Notify Me plus Notion database will do the job with no cost. In case you don't know what Notion is, Notion is a note-taking web application. They provide public APIs so you can access the data in the database and using their API for free. Notify Me lets you store a message in a Notion database. If a client leaves a message on my documentation website, the message will be stored in a Notion database. You can go to Notion and view the data in browser using a user-friendly interface. I included a text column so you can include some metadata, such as the platform or website the message is coming from, or whether a client opts in for update notification subscription. Then you can filter by tags easily using Notion. Most importantly, this process is completely free. The second use case is sending message to yourself from a bot. Suppose you wrote a scraper to monitor a product's stock and price every 5 minutes. Notify Me allows the bot to send a notification to alert you when the product is in stock or drops to a certain price. I have also written a bot to book court automatically. The server will notify me whether the bot successfully booked a court and which court it booked. Another interesting use case of mine is Rubber Ducky. It's basically a USB device for hacking. You program it, plug it in a computer and it will pretend to be a normal keyboard and execute some malicious code. I made a rubber ducky to steal Wi-Fi password of a computer. You plug it in a Windows or Ubuntu computer, and the Wi-Fi password will be sent to my phone. If you are interested in this, I can make another video about it. Let me know in the comments. In the beginning, the Wi-Fi password was sent to me by sending email with PowerShell. I had to program my email address and password in the script and could leave a history in the system. Notify me not only simplifies the process, but also hides your identity as it simply sends a HTTP request. I hope this gives you an insight of what Notify me is capable of. You can use it to do anything. The use case is limited by your imagination. Next, I will describe how to deploy a Notify me server. The process is straightforward. Everything is documented in the readme file of the project. I will go through the deployment process with you. You first need to make a copy of the Notify me repository in your GitHub account and create a new project in Netlify that links to your repository. Then the server is deployed. To enable the Telegram, Notion and email service, you will need to provide the API keys as environment variables. I made this project a public template, so you can either use it as a template or fork the repo. Then you can git clone the new repo of yours to test it locally. In fact, you don't have to clone it for deployment. Deployment can be 100% done within your browser. But if it's the first time you use this app, it's better to experiment everything locally first. In the root of the repo, I made a template.env file. You need to make a copy of this file and call it .env. There are three services implemented, Telegram, Email, and Notion. To disable a service, you just need to remove or comment out the corresponding environment variables. For example, to disable email notification, I comment out all environment variables that starts with email. And the password environment variable is optional. Without using it, anyone with a URL can send message to you using your server. Comment it out if you don't need it. Now we need to get API keys from third-party services. Again, this is all documented in the readme file. All the links and documentations can be found there. Let's start by creating a Telegram bot. You will need to install Telegram first. Microsoft has a detailed tutorial for it. Click on Botfather to open the Telegram app. Then send slash new bot to Botfather. Follow the instructions to create a bot. You just need to give a few names. Very straightforward. When the bot is created, copy the token to the .env file as Telegram bot token environment variable. Then click on the new bot URL to chat with it. You need one more environment variable, Telegram chat ID, from this bot. Click on start so that the chat is created. To retrieve the chat ID of this chat, use the API URL in my readme file. 
put the bot token in it. Then you can find the chat ID in the JSON response. Copy it to .env file as the Telegram chat ID environment variable. Now Telegram service should be ready. Run npm run deving terminal to start a local development server. Try sending a message. It should appear in Telegram app in the chat you just created. Try fill in the name and email input box as well. The information will be carried to the message. Next, I will show you how to set up Notion for this project. Notion also has two environment variables, a database ID and a Notion secret. If you don't want Notion service, skip this part and continue to the deployment section. First of all, you need to make a copy of the Notion database template. The link is in the readme file. Open the template and duplicate it in your own Notion workspace. The template database contains the columns Notify Me supports. Without a proper template, the app may fail to save data to Notion. Configuring a database is boring and time consuming, so you should duplicate my template. Once you duplicate the template, you can find the database ID in the URL, right after your username, before the question mark. Copy it to your .env file. Next, we need to create a Notion integration API key to allow the server to add data to Notion database. You can go to this website and click create a new integration, give it a name, choose the right workspace, everything else can be left as default. Create the integration, it will give you an internal integration token. The token can be copied to .env file as a Notion secret variable. You need to go to the Notion database page and add connection to grant the API integration permission to access this database. Note that this should be the database you duplicated from my template. Now we have everything for Telegram and Notion service. I will skip email setup to keep the video short. Read the readme file for more info if you need email service. It's also straightforward. Sending a message using Notion service will add the message to Notion database. Then I will deploy it to Netlify. Netlify is a platform that you can deploy web applications for free. There are many other options like Verso, Cloudflare, Firebase, or Heroku. Netlify is a zero config provider for Nux3, which means Netlify will handle pretty much everything for you. The build and deployment process don't need to be configured manually. Create a Netlify project by importing an existing project. Connect to GitHub. You will need to give Netlify the permission to access your repo. You can give it access to all repos. I usually only grant permission of the repos I need to deploy on Netlify. After selecting a repo, you can stick with the default config and click Deploy Site. Netlify will start building the app. The site name can be changed in Site Settings. Once it displays Published, you can go to the URL. For now, there is no service enabled and displayed because no environment variables is provided to Netlify. The .env file is ignored by Git. You will need to go to Site Settings and provide the environment variables. You will have to copy the names and values of the environment variables manually. It's boring, but you just need to do it once. If you know the repository is going to be always private, you can also modify the gitignore file and push .env file to GitHub so that you don't need to manually set the environment variables on Netlify. If you want to enable password protection for your server, also add a password environment variable here. Then, after providing the environment variables, you need to go to deploys and trigger deploy again. Refresh the website, Telegram and Notion service should be ready. Try sending yourself some messages, it should work now. The web UI is in fact intended to be used for developing and testing purpose, as most of my use cases use the REST API programmatically instead of using the web UI. So I also provide the enable UI environment variable. By setting it to false, the web UI always give a 404. Furthermore, the app name environment variable allows you to change the web page name, which is kind of useless, but it's there, use it if you want. The web app also has a setting that allows you to change color theme. This function is indeed useless for this project. I just added this because I was trying out some UI framework and don't want to remove this useless extra feature. I mentioned that this web app is primarily intended to be used programmatically in a headless way. So I also provided the Postman documentation. You can find the link in the readme file. The API documentation tells you all parameters notify me accepts. Every service supports both GET and POST request. GET request allows you to send a message using a browser address bar without any programming language, not even command line. Here is a demo with Telegram of how it works. The password parameter should theoretically be included in request header, but that prevents me from using browser address bar to send message. So for convenience, the password parameter needs to be included in a GET request parameter or POST request body. That's everything about notify me, hope you find it useful. For now, I supported Telegram, email, and Notion. If you need support for other services like Slack or Discord, let me know in the comments. Also, feel free to fork it and submit a pull request. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.